Um, before we get into the nuts and bolts, leave um, my nuts out of this. <laughs> shut up. Um, I want to know pretty much how it all started for Russell. Um, let's start off with tell me about young Russell. That's what I want to know about. Which version of young Russell? The kid, the 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 innocent. So give me the age frame, time uh, frame. Let's say ten. Ten year old Russell yeah. was was um. Well, Russell. Wait, wait, before we get into ten year old Russell, tell me where were you born? I was born in Toronto. Okay. And then at around four, my parents moved to Brampton, which is like twenty minutes outside of Toronto. Okay. And. And born then, and raised in Toronto. Born and raised in Toronto. Born, well, born in Toronto, and then at four, we moved to Brampton. So in 1974, we moved to Brampton. Okay. And then Brampton was like a working class neighborhood. And back then, it was like white, very white. And then there were some black families. Right. And So not, you're a big deal coming from Canada, right? It was like, who do we know famous from Canada besides Drake? Drake, Bieber, Weekend. Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Right. And his uh, brother with the crutches, Marco Polio. He's the lesser known of the two. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the kid Russell. Go. <laughs> <laughs> we got AV started. We got AV started, guys. It, 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 why do you get him started? Because it's an amazing laugh. Go. Kid Russell. So, kid Russell, let's see. So Were you I, shy? Were you... I was outgoing and I'm very... Uh, I was always uh, kind of oblivious to like people being mean because i didn't have any meanness in me i didn't okay. have a, i didn't have a mean streak that a lot of these other humans had mm -hmm. so when people were being mean to me i was confused by it i was like i don't understand why would anybody be mean to you oh uh, i was i dealt with a lot of racism bullying growing up really yeah okay. especially when i moved out of toronto and i moved to that suburb give me an example oh it was constant from the age of four to the age of 15 like what getting your ass kicked get your ass kicked spit on um, spit on spit on by adults as a kid I got sprayed with a hose when I was five what the hell I was driving past this white man's house and he was watering his lawn and I'm riding my bicycle mm -hmm. and I just hi mm -hmm. sprayed sprayed me with his hose and said get the fuck out of here Packy and I was like wow I don't know and I didn't understand it as a kid he's still breathing um I hope not mm -hmm. um but but I did get revenge on him when I was about 15 What'd you do? I was walking. <laughs> he lived at the end corner unit in this townhouse complex I used to live in. And all my friends lived in the buildings behind us. Mm -hmm. Project type buildings. Mm -hmm. So I, would, I remember I was leaving my friend's place. We'd already moved out of that community maybe around three years before that. But I still had to walk through that community to get to my to my house now. And then so we were walking and I, walk, I was walking and I saw the man sitting in his living room. Mm -hmm. He had a big ass window. How do you see? him sitting in his living room because the way it was a townhouse complex so okay, you walk okay. in the backyards are right there so i could see like the i saw him sitting with his legs up on his coffee table watching tv mm -hmm. and i go there's that motherfucker right there and i remembered it clearly like it was yesterday and i picked up this big ass brick like you know, one of those cement blocks and i threw it through his window oh my God. and then i just bolted oh, but i you. felt good about that oh. I, st I still feel good about it to this day and that was 30 years ago oh, good for you, you have <laughs> 33 years ago <laughs> three god <laughs> 